hand grinders are a great way to maximize your bang for your buck in the world of home coffee grinders. By doing away with the need for any electronics or motors, manufacturers are free to spend most of their budget where it matters most, on the burr sets and on the build quality. Today, we'll be comparing two of the biggest names in this space, the Easypresso K-Max and the Commandante. These two companies have a bit of a tense relationship in their quest to be the top hand grinders on the market. And I don't think that this video is going to help that very much, because in my experience, there is a very clear winner here, and it might not be the one you'd expect. Now, before we get going, I'd like to make it very clear this is not a sponsored video in any way. I purchased both these grinders with my own money. If you want to check either of them out, I will have them linked down in the description below. In the very large box of the Commandante, you get the grinder, two catch cups, one glass, one plastic, and a rubber grip in case you find the body of the grinder a little slippery, which we'll touch on later. The Easy Presso comes in a cylindrical protective case, which is nice if you plan to take this grinder out of the house, and it also includes a cleaning brush and air blower. Moving on to grind quality, the Commandante is a grinder that needs very little introduction. It's widely considered to be the gold standard in hand grinders by many. Now on its fourth generation, it has a cult-like following, and for that reason, I had pretty high expectations. And I was not disappointed. The Commandante can produce excellent cups of coffee, with great clarity, good sweetness, and good overall balance. I can absolutely see why this is such a popular grinder, and why it has the reputation that it does. If I had to live the rest of my pour-over career with just the Commandante, I would be perfectly happy. However, there is only one problem. In my review of the Easy Presso, I felt the exact same way. That grinder also has excellent grind quality, and I have been living with it happily for the better part of six months now. What was surprising is that when put head to head, there wasn't a whole lot in it for me. The cups produced by these two grinders are very difficult to distinguish, even when directly A-B testing. I found that the K-Max had a little bit more body to the extractions, whereas the Commandante might have excelled slightly in terms of clarity and overall delineation of flavors. However, I would be lying if I said I could go into a blind test between these two grinders with very much confidence. They are really quite similar. When it comes to dialing in, each step on the K-Max is 22 microns, while the Commandante's steps are larger at 30 microns, making the Easy Presso better suited for espresso straight out of the box. Now, Commandante do sell their red click system, which effectively cuts each grind step in half to a very respectable 15 microns. However, you're going to have to pay an extra $45 for that on top of the already higher price tag, bringing the total cost of this system to between 30 and 35% more expensive than the K-Max, which is a tough pill to swallow when you remember how similar the grind quality was. Where these two grinders really start to diverge is in their build quality, and even more so, the user experience. Holding both these grinders in your hands, I would bet that 10 out of 10 strangers would pick the Easy Presso as the better built and more expensive grinders. The K-Max is very well made, and feels more luxurious and robust overall. The body and catch cup of the Commandante are not far behind, also clearly very well made, but certain areas like the flimsy plastic on the grinding arm caught me a little bit off guard for such an expensive grinder. However, the user experience is really where this comparison was won or lost. The K-Max is simply a much nicer grinder to use on a daily basis in essentially every functional way. The K-Max has grind adjustments that are numbered, external, and hugely satisfying to use. In comparison, the Commandante's adjustment is on the bottom of the grinder, and it forces you to re-zero and count the clicks if you want to go back to a previously used position. The catch cup on the K-Max is magnetic, while the Commandante's is threaded. The grinding is faster on the K-Max, and it's also easier thanks to the longer grinding arm. Commandante wants to charge you for that feature as well.
And finally, grinding is simply more comfortable on the K-Max. The slimmer and grippier design will suit a wider range of hand sizes, whereas even my hand started to ache a bit after long grinding sessions on the wider and slipperier Commandante. And I think they know this because of how they include that grippy ring in the box. Having owned and used the K-Max for many months now, I was shocked at how for the first time in a long time, I felt a genuine sense of buyer's remorse after my first few uses of the Commandante. This is not at all how I expected my experience with this grinder to go. Don't get me wrong, it is still a great grinder. It is robust, has a variety of good looking finishes, and makes excellent cups of coffee. But for the price, and considering what else is out there, I simply find it a difficult one to justify, especially when you start adding on options like the red clicks and the extended grinding arm that get it to the level of the K-Max. On top of the already elevated price tag, those options launch it into the stratosphere of price point. Now, I completely understand the value of a strong brand name, and I completely respect companies that will put all of their money into functional parts like the burrs instead of fancy finishes. However, having owned both of these grinders, having used both these grinders, and having tasted them both, I'm simply left a little bit perplexed as to where the Commandante fits in terms of value in the current hand grinder market. I think that somewhat like the Niche Zero, Commandante has become a bit too comfortable as the market leader. And because of that, cheaper and better options have been allowed to catch up. In this comparison, the winner is clear for me. The EasyPresso K-Max is simply the superior overall package. Even if the prices were reversed and it were more expensive, it is still the one I would pick. And for that reason, the K-Max is still the hand grinder that I recommend most in this mid to high price point. Again, if you wanna check out either of these grinders, I will have them linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.